The first thing you get is that smell. So you've got that beautiful caramelized onion, the cheese, the herbs from the Dauphinoise. The layers are lovely and sort of, you know, defined. You've got the cheese and the onion in the middle. Yeah, pastry's crispy. I'm really happy with that. Hi, I'm Callum Franklin. I'm the head chef at Holborn Dining Room and I'm gonna take you through the art of pie making in my pie room. I feel very lucky that I have found like my true love and my sort of direction in cooking. It is 100% in pie making. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I, I count my blessings that at quite an early age, I found out that thing that really makes me passionate and, and sort of burn inside. Top London chef Callum Franklin mixes a great deal of love and care into his short-lived works of art. The type of crust depends on the pie's filling. The moister it is, the crunchier the crust needs to be. His favourite dough is the classic short crust, made of flour, butter, eggs. And in mine, probably quite a lot of salt, uh, but I like my doughs to be really tasty, so I always season well. Um, the key to this dough is controlling temperature because we want to have within that dough little nuggets of butter which will create pockets in cooking and then create flakes. Probably the hardest thing with this dough is making sure that butter doesn't melt as you're rolling it. In the UK, mass-produced pies can be found on almost every corner. In the lofty haute cuisine, the art of baking the lowly pie, both sweet and savoury, had nearly faded into oblivion. A coincidence started Callum Franklin on his path to becoming the king of pie. On a tour of the cellars of London's storied Rosewood Hotel, the gourmet chef spotted an antique pie tin with interlocking parts and keys, but he was puzzled. I knew roughly what it was for, but I didn't know the technique. And I brought it up to my kitchen and asked my senior team, has anybody learned the technique for using this for pie making? And none of them had. Hoping to preserve and even revitalize the tradition, Callum Franklin and his team worked for almost a year on relearning and refining the methods of pie making. Soon, demand grew to where the restaurant kitchen was no longer able to keep up. A new place had to be found especially for the purpose. In 2018, the Rosewood Hotel opened its pie room. It was a room born out of necessity, which is why it's always worked, to basically design the perfect pie making environment. And that's what we did. I, you know, I sat down and I drew out the room. I collected these beautiful antiques from all over Europe to fill that room um, so that it really felt like you were sat in a, in a Victorian pie room. London's produce markets, like the Borough Market, furnished 39-year-old Callum Franklin with plenty of inspiration for the seasonal ingredients to his pies. He picks out special items to lend them a touch of elegance. His Dauphinoise pie is based on a classic British pie combination. Cheese, potatoes, and onions. So potato element is based on a, a classic potato dish, a gratin, a Dauphinoise potato. So we've pre-cooked that. And then the onion we've caramelized. And then the cheese, we found an incredible Montgomery cheddar, uh, which is from Somerset. Really rich cheese, very nutty. And that's going to be layered in between the potato and the onion. When pressing down the lid, care must be taken not to leave any air between the filling and the dough, or it'll give rise to unsightly bubbles. He brushes the pie's top with egg yolk and seals the edges. And then he can get down to the decorative stages. So when we're doing decoration, very fine detail, one of the things that we found helps with that to make sure the pastry stays cold is we put these chopping boards into the freezer in the morning so they're super cold and then when we work with that it transfers that temperature to the fat in the pastry and keeps it at a nice temperature. For the decoration of his pies, the architecture of London-born Franklin's hometown provides inspiration. He sees it as a nice way to connect his creations to their surroundings in the British capital and give them a sense of place. This pie recalls the All Saints Church on Margaret Street. 
I love it. It's this neo-Gothic church. It's kind of unusual from the outside with different color bricks and, and yeah, like a really unique look on the outside. On the inside, incredible. And yeah, there's one stained glass window that I've been obsessing over in there. And uh, that's really the detail that I want to put onto the pie. It's going to reflect that beautiful sort of hidden detail. And so, step by step, a pasty is transformed into an edible artwork. If you look back through written history of pie making in this country, which is 600 years of, it's always there in our food culture. For me, it was very important to celebrate the pie again and everything that is, you know, been in the past um, and use the techniques and, and knowledge and ingredients that we have nowadays to achieve that. Callum Franklin is not keeping what he's learned a secret. He's collected recipes in his book, The Pie Room. With its help, even beginners can turn out perfect pies. The culmination of all the effort is always the moment the chef cuts into a freshly baked creation. Thank you for joining me. I hope you've learned something and I hope this inspires you to go home and make some pies. It's a British tradition you can really sink your teeth into.